A human right is that which is required for man to survive within a specific society. A human right is an individual and sociological imperative. Human rights are formed from a contract of the state, without which man would exist free of legal boundaries in a state of nature. It is man's objective to appoint human rights under social contract. Thomas Hobbes founded a contractualist theory of legal positivism beginning from the principle that man in the state of nature, which is to say without a commonwealth, a state, is in a state of constant war one with the other and thus in fear of his life and possessions, there being no property nor right without a sovereign to define it. Hobbes asserted natural law as how a rational human, seeking to survive and prosper, would act the first principle of natural law being to seek peace, in which is self-preservation. Natural law, which Hobbes accepted was a misnomer, there being no law without a commonwealth, was discovered by considering humankind's natural interests, whereas previous philosophers had said that natural rights were discovered by considering the natural law. In Hobbes' opinion, the only way natural law could prevail was for human beings to agree to create a commonwealth by submitting to the command of a sovereign, whether an individual or an assembly of individuals. In this lay the foundations of the theory of a social contract between the governed and the governor. Locke turned Hobbes' prescription around, saying that if the ruler went against natural law and failed to protect life, liberty, and property, people could justifiably overthrow the existing state and create a new one. Human rights law, applied to a state's own citizen serves the interest of states, by, for example, minimizing the risk of violent resistance and protest and by keeping the level of dissatisfaction with the government manageable. All government is founded on compromise and barter. We balance inconveniences, we give and take, we remit some rights that we may enjoy others, and we choose rather to be happy citizens, than subtle disputants. Human rights should be made in tangent with the welfare, freedom, and happiness, of all citizens. To enforce human rights we might form a humanistic revolution, to conform the global world to universal human rights, that better national affairs and provide a better life for humans. The best human rights are contained in the forms of peace, prosperity and freedom from coercion. Those who contradict humanism's endeavors are to be reformed by peaceful transition, and if at large the oppression of the governing is great, with forceful revolution. Marx wrote, Liberty consists in being able to do everything which does not harm others. Liberty, therefore, is the right to do everything that harms no one else. The limits within which anyone can act without harming someone else are defined by law just as the boundary between two fields is determined by a boundary post. And that, security is the supreme social concept of bourgeois society, the concept of the police, the whole society exists only to ensure each of its members the preservation of his person, his rights and his property. The force of security, as the executive function of the law, is to preserve human life and freedom from harm from others. The state's security measures are intact as agreed upon by the collective. It is we who rule the state and form the social contract, and we who are ruled by the state and binded by the social contract. Humanism, as a collective agenda, attempts to make human rights universal. No religion should interfere with the decrees of the democratic body, and every religion that defies democratic human rights should befall the same consequences of punishment as any individual or corporation who breaks law or misuses his power to defy human rights, to properties and freedoms. The goal of humanism, is to accentuate human rights which are a part of a civil human's essential being, 